Hey there, welcome to Gander Flight. I'm Joshua. I'm Ryder. I'm Kaylin. And today we want to tell you a quick story about what happens when you have heat and croc shoes in the same place. Ryder, can you let us know how the story started? So, one rainy day, Kaylin and I were coming in from the rain. Yeah, and I, put, and I thought, let's dry off our shoes in the space heater overnight. You put the Crocs in front of the space heater that was right in front of the, the RV door. And then when we got back the next day, the Croc was, that was closer to it was shrunken. It, it would look three slides smaller. My parents thought it will, we, he switched out with the other kid, but we went to a playground and we had to drive back. Yep, so we actually thought he brought home the wrong shoes. Um, but as you can see, space heaters shrink Crocs. And so what yeah. we wanted to do today, we ended up having to get some new Crocs for the boys as they were growing out of these anyway. Um, but we have three good Crocs left. What we want to do is we want to test and, and put the camera on it. We're going to put one in front of the space heater again and see if we can capture on video how it shrinks. But then we also thought, well, what other types of heat could, you know, mess with Crocs? So we're going to have some propane torch. We're going to try and heat it, not let it on fire. And we're going to do a microwave one. And then we're gonna stick one in the microwave and see how that affects the crock as well. So let's so, put a blue one in front of here and let's put a green one in here. And then a blue one in the microwave? Uh-huh. Cool, let's get started. Let's go! All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace the shoes before we do anything to them. That way we have something to compare them to after we apply the heat. All right, so we got them all traced, Ryder. We're gonna turn this up to max heat. Can you go ahead and turn it on to number two, Ryder? And then we're gonna let that go because that's gonna definitely take the longest. All the way over, one more click, there we go. And we're just gonna see, see what happens. While that's going, we'll go ahead and jump over to the microwave and the propane. So we've got the crock, we're gonna try the propane. The goal here is not to light it on fire, but just to get it hot and see if we can get it to shrink for our eyes. Ready guys? Yep, yeah. Okay. All right, let's let it cool down and then we'll measure it out. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put the crock in for 30 seconds. If that doesn't do it, we'll put it in for a full minute. Let's see what happens. Any results? We'll find out now. Gentle, gentle. Could be hot. Hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we go for a minute. Or the plate. Mm, the crock's getting a little softer, a little warmer, but I think we should go for another Can one. I? Go ahead and do it for two minutes. Two minutes. What do you think we'll do with three minutes and a half over time? Let's find out. So what did we observe, guys? Let's start with the propane, Ryder. I think it shrinked. Yeah? I can't tell for sure though. Does it feel any different? Feels a little, a little bit softer, but it's still like hard. Yeah. Well, let's move on to the. And so microwave. what happened with the microwave? It well, squashed. And we, it melted. We lost the plastic. Yep, and it started melting to the plate. And, and let's, let's see. see. Did it shrink at all? It definitely deformed, right? The shape is different. Kind of the toe up and the heel up. Do you think it shrank? 
the overnight no. heater, this might happen to that. So the heater is definitely the one that kept it the most the same, but it shrunk. Interesting. Well, uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a pretty interesting set of experiments, huh? Yeah. We uh, definitely saw some deformation due to heat. The propane we actually like, caught a little bit on fire and definitely saw it shrink some. The microwave kind of well. just started to melt and burn and yeah. yeah. Squish. It's definitely not, not usable anymore. And then this was the original one that got a few sizes too small. We'll show in uh, the time lapse here of the one we put in front of the heater and, and how it shrinks over time. But definitely hard, almost like a rock, right? I can't even So what, what can we learn from this? Do not, Do put, not put crocs in front of heaters. They will shrink. Yes, definitely. and also, so when you're camping, you're all often wearing crocs, right? When you have campfires, beware that you should not put your crocs up towards the fire to heat your toes because your croc might shrink around your foot. Uh, yep. Thank you for joining us on this experiment. For Gander Flight. For Gander Flight. I'm Joshua. This is Ryder and Kaylin. Okay. And uh, we appreciate you being here. If you like this kind of experimental videos and uh, other RV life stuff, make sure you check out the rest of the things we're doing at Gander Flight. Until next time, take care. Happy and trails. Happy trails. Bye. Bye. Bye.